Leaf fans, how's it going? Glad to be with you here in 2010. And I thought for sure by now we'd see flying cars. But alas, not much has changed. No flying cars and no flying pigs. How do I know this? Because the Leafs start off 2010, a new year, a new decade, the same way they finished the last one, with a loss. Leafs lose 3-1 against the Calgary Flames, but honestly the game wasn't as bad as it sounds. Where in the last video I focused on the past decade, this video I'm going to focus on where we are today. We're in a time where the goaltending from team to team is consistently outstanding. We also saw what Jason Blake had to do, but the first one past Mika Kiprasov. He had to rush the net, constant pressure, and it ended up being Kiprasov who accidentally kicked it in. We're also in a time of unmatched skill and speed. You just can't afford to make mistakes. Stolberg makes the mistake of making a bad pass. Komisarek just can't play the puck. Gustafson makes a mistake of making a bad save. And the game is tied at one. And I'm out of breath. With all the improvements that were made last decade and taking out the hooking and the holding the obstruction, it has really put a lot of emphasis on your team when you're up a man. Or in the least case, when you're down a man, the second Calgary goal comes when Ponacrossi is in the box with goaltender interference. And then Calgary's third goal came on the empty net, and you gotta feel bad for the Leafs. Because against a team that's, no doubt, far more skilled than they are, they were right with it for most of the game. Question of the game, no one can really deny that the Leafs are kinda short on skill, so if you have the ability to bolster one position, goaltender, defense, or forward, which would you pick? And then looking forward to the tens and the teens, which player do you hope will stick around the longest? Happy New Year's, I hope you had a great time celebrating with friends and family, until next time, go Leafs go!